Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On and this is Monday's edition of 7 O'Clock Spurs which I'm going to try and make as positive as possible even though I'm sure we all feel a little bit down after yesterday's result about against Newcastle. First up today though, as I'm sure you already know, the Europa League last 32 draw has been made and we're going back to Fiorentina. Yes, we're playing the team that knocked us out in the same stage last season. I doubt any of us can forget Roberto Soldado, clear through on goal. All he's got is uh, the goalkeeper to beat or he can pass it to Nasser Chadley and he'll score. There's no one else within about 30 yards of them and he passes it straight to the keeper and we go tumbling out of Europe. What do I think about this draw? Well, I think revenge is on the cards. I think we're a lot better side this year. I think we're younger, we're hungrier despite yesterday's result. And I think even though they're second in Serie A at the moment, we can turn them over. We go to them first and play at home in the return leg, which is uh, again in our favour as a result of, our top of us topping our group. And I do think we can turn them over. Let's know what you think. Just so you know, those games will be on the 18th and 25th of February. The 25th will be the game at White Hart Lane, an 8.05 p.m. kickoff. Come on, you Spurs. Second bit of news today. Glenn Hoddle has talked about the possibility of Jamie Vardy not only signing for Spurs, but also playing for England up top alongside Harry Kane. He said that he thinks they would be a perfect fit for both the Three Lions and for Spurs. Now, I personally don't think this sounds about right. Uh, Jamie Vardy, I think, is in his late 20s now, 27, 28. And yeah, he's had a great season and everything, but we play one up front, that is Harry Kane. I can't really see Jamie Vardy coming into Spurs for what would be an inflated transfer fee anyway and playing second fiddle to Kane on the bench or even playing in one of the three uh, positions behind him. So that sounds to me a bit like Glenn just talking shit, basically. Uh, I don't think it will ever happen. I mean, I think it would be a good signing. It would probably excite the fans, but Paul Mitchell and Mo uh, Maurizio Pochettino don't really buy players at 27, 28 that much, so it doesn't seem likely to me. Let me know what you think. And thirdly today, third bit of news, just a little bit of a response to yesterday, really. Uh, obviously, there's been a lot of negativity, particularly on Twitter, after yesterday's loss to Newcastle. I just urge you all, guys, let's not overreact. It's the first bad result we've had in the league since the opening day of the season, if you ask me. I mean, uh, that's not true, actually. The Stoke result, for instance, was disappointing, but it's the first loss we've had. And let's just let the boys bounce back. They're young. They're going to have blips like this. Let's let them bounce back against Southampton on, on Saturday at 3 o'clock. Let's be honest, guys. If we beat Southampton, who are on a bad run of form, then yesterday's game can be forgotten and we can go into those games against Norwich and Watford over the Christmas period with confidence. I still think we've got the team to do that. I think Moussa Dembele will come back in, hopefully, and we shouldn't have too much to worry about. Every team has their blips, even Woolwich, who are currently top of the league. Let's not forget they lost at home to West Ham on the opening day of the season, who we turned over 4-1 at the lane. So these things can happen and it's how you bounce back that's important. Anyway, guys, Happy Monday night. Let me know uh, what you think of tonight. 7 o'clock Spurs in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. Come on, you Spurs. What you got in that game was poor Jude. You got the look, <laughs> the, we had the look of poor Jude, and I'm not kidding you. We were 